Daniel Jones could have played his last snap as a New York Giant, and some Bears players could want Tyson Bajan in instead of Caleb Williams. Let's start things off in the Big Apple as after the Giants lost in Germany this week to the Carolina Panthers, Adam Schefter is saying if he had to make a guess, he would say that Daniel Jones has played his last snap for the New York Giants. Now, they're 2-8. and eight. If the season ended today, they would have the worst record in the league, and they're fully in the running for the number one overall pick, but what this move would be about isn't to get Tommy DeVito or Drew Locke starts. It would be because when they signed Daniel Jones to that four-year, $160 million contract, there were basically two years guaranteed, and the third and fourth year of the deal are non-guaranteed years, so what that means is if the season ended today, they would be able to get out of those guarantees and move forward for the quarterback of the future instead of paying him $40 million per year over the next few years, but what they really risk when they keep running out Daniel Jones week after week is if he gets injured, then they have some injury guarantees on that contract. So if he happened to get injured, then the Giants could end up being stuck with that contract. So benching him would basically just be precautionary to avoid Daniel Jones getting hurt while playing and so they can move on and draft the quarterback of the future. Now, for the Caleb Williams part, the Bears offense needed to make a change, and Matt Eberflus, in a last-ditch effort to save his job, announced that they fired offensive coordinator Shane Waldron this morning. But Mark Silverman of ESPN 1000 in Chicago said that veteran players were basically calling for the firing of offensive coordinator Shane Waldron, but also some unnamed veteran players would prefer if Tyson Bagent got some starts moving forward instead of Caleb Williams. And this wouldn't be like an answer. Anthony Richardson, Joe Flacco situation where they just want the vet in Joe Flacco to lead them. No, Tyson Bajan, he was a rookie coming after playing Division II football last year, so it's not like you're going for a vet instead of a young rookie that's learning. They just might think that Tyson Bajan would give themselves a better chance to win right now than Caleb Williams. But then if you look at the Bears, last year they had the Luke Getze experiment backfire and fail. They fired him. He also got fired in Las Vegas right away. And then they tried Shane Waldron, he got fired, so now it seems like the last straw remaining is Matt Eberflus, and if he does make it through this season, and I still think that's a question at this point, then he is almost surely to be fired this offseason because Caleb Williams need an offensive mind around him, and if you look around the division in the NFC North, it's arguably the best division in football, and the reason for that is coaching. You look at the Vikings and the Packers, two young offensive play callers in Kevin O'Connell and Matt LaFleur. The Lions have arguably the best coaching tandem of coordinator and coach in the league with Dan Campbell and Ben Johnson. So the Bears need an offensive mind if they want to break their trend of failing to develop young quarterbacks and help Caleb Williams. Imagine where they would be if they fired Matt Eberflus last offseason and hired Jim Harbaugh. Obviously, that's a big what if at this point, but we'll see what's next for the Bears and Giants.